Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for Newton Repsum. By sketching the graph of y, which is equal to x to the power 3, and also y, which is equal to 4x minus 2, shows that equation, we have the x cubed minus the 4x plus it to 2 equals to 0 has 3 real root. A. Show that one of the real roots of the equation lies between 1 and 2. B. By using the Newton Repsum method and the initial value is 2, Determine the real root that lie between the 1 and 2, correct to 2 decimal places. So first what we have to do is to sketch the graph. So in here we have the graph y which is equal to x to the power of 3. Continue, sketch the straight line where we have y which is equal to 4x minus 2. In order to find the x-axis where we have y which is equal to 0, so the value of x would be 1 over 2. Continue. In order to find the y-intercept, where we have x is equal to 0, so in here we have negative 2. So here we have the coordinate, for example, we have 0, negative 2. Then here we have the coordinate, 1 over 2, 0. So we have the graph, y is equal to 4x minus the 2. y is equal to x to the power of 3. So notice that, from here we already show that we have the 3 real root. Number 1 is over here, number 2 number 3. So continue. Show that one of the real root of the equation lie between the 1 and 2. So we have the situation number 1, fx, where we have the situation x to the power 3 minus the 4x plus with the 2. Next, find the f prime x, where we have 3x squared minus the 4. So in order to show one of the root is lie in between 1 and 2, so substitute the situation, we have the f1. So by referring to the calculator, then we have the situation negative 1. Next, we have to substitute the f2. Continue, and we will have the situation 2. So notice that we have the opposite sign. So opposite sign shows that there is a root between x is equal to 1 and the x is equal to 2. So we already shown the situation. B. By using the Newton Repsum method and the initial value is 2, determine the real root that lie between 1 and 2. So here we have the formula x n plus with the 1, which is equal to x n minus we have the f bracket x n over the f prime x n so kindly substitute the situation so we have the x1 where we have the situation we have the value 2 minus bracket we have the fx where we have 2 to the power of 3 minus 4 multiplied with the 2 plus with the 2 over we have 3 multiplied with 2 to the power of 2 minus the 4 so by referring to the calculator we have 1.75. Again, repeat the situation. So x sub 2, where we have the situation 1.75 minus bracket. We have 1.75 to the power of 3 minus 4 multiply 1.75 plus with the situation 2. Over, we have 3 multiply 1.75 square minus with the 4. So the x sub 2 will be equal to 1.68072892. Repeat the situation, so x sub 3, where we have 1.675166607. So x sub 4, we have the situation 1.675130872. x sub 5, 1.675130871. So notice that we have the repeated cases. So, meaning that the root is x is equal to 1.68. So, correct to two decimal places. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.